Hello, so today we have the 2010 Fender American Standard Stratocaster in the beautiful Olympic white. Okay, let's go over the material. So this is the standard size headstock. It's not the oversized headstock, uh, Stratocaster shape. Uh, it's got a six in line uh, tuners. These are Fender tuners. So you can see here. It's got a synthetic bone nut. Um, let's go over the neck. So it has a maple fretboard and maple neck with a skunk stripe in the neck. The fretboard markers and the inlays, they're just black dots, as you can see here. The actual fret wire themselves are medium jumbo. Let's go down here. It has, you know, the square heel joint that uh, Fender usually has. Let's go to the body. So the body is a urethane finish. It is Olympic white, so it's a little bit off white. So there's body contours here and here for your arm, very comfortable. The bridge, it's just a Fender uh, six saddle bridge. Um, it's a two point bridge that goes back here. Uh, so okay, let's go over the electronics. We have the output jack. We have three uh, knobs. This is the master volume. This is the tone for the neck pickup, and this is the tone for the bridge pickup. If you go to 10, uh, this has a no load tone control. So basically, it just wires the bridge straight to the output jack. It's got a five way pickup selector switch. So this position we have the bridge, this position we have the bridge and the middle, middle on its own. Next position we have the middle and the neck. Last one is the neck and it's got a white scratch plate. It has 22 frets, it is 25 and a half inch uh, is long. It's got 9.5 millimeter fretboard radius. So it's got chrome hardware, white knobs. Yeah, it's a standard Stratocaster. <laughs> Okay, let's go over the pros. Um, so it's a high quality instrument. It's the standard series. So this was the standard lineup. It is made in USA. It's got a very uh, classic finish. It's got this Olympic cream white. And this maple makes it stand out a lot, makes it look, it pops out visually. 
Uh, the pros, the contour cuts are very comfortable. Um, it just sits nice against the body. Um, bridge is solid, uh, although even I, I use it in uh, dive only mode or fixed bridge mode with my tremolo. Uh, the bridge stays in tune. Uh, for the most part. Um, if I was to upgrade, I'd probably change to locking tuners. The no tone load knob uh, definitely cuts through the mix when you're using your bridge pickup. Um, sounds are really nice. You get sparkly cleans and you get a lot of uh, high-end chug with it. So you can play with most genres using this guitar. Okay, let's go over the cons. Cons, the medium jumbo frets. When you grab a hold of the neck, it's not as comfortable. Um, when bending strings sometimes, uh, my fingers get stuck to the fretboard. And also, this is a gloss uh, finish, so sometimes it is kind of sticky. Um, the satin, um, if you sweat a bit, um, it can get a little bit sticky, but it's not too much. It's personal preference. Pickups, some things that I noticed was that um, when I used the no load tone, I uh, switched to 10. And I use the bridge, sometimes I get a lot of noise if I'm playing any metal, so I need to use a noise suppressor or a noise gate to fight that. Yeah, it's a solid guitar. Um, it's a bit on the pricey end. Um, they replaced the series with the select series, I think, or it's a different series anyway. They don't use they don't do the standard series anymore. But it's a um, solid Stratocaster. Um, definitely worth the look. Check it out.